What do you need to look out for in a briefing? Instructions are the key to getting your desired content, so it's important to create effective and well-structured ones. Make sure that the instructions are as clear and concise as possible. The following aspects should be focused on in particular, structure, phrasing and language, content, and form. Structure. Explain which type of content you would like to have written. Should your content be a product description, a blog article, or a guide? A basic outline is important so that the author can prepare for the task. There is no across-the-board figure to apply to every piece of content. It depends on many factors, such as the type of content, the complexity of the topic, and the place where it will be published. Long articles can help your users and are also positively recognized by Google if they include useful information. Do make sure, though, that your author does not write an unnecessarily long article. You should carefully determine the length of the text on a case-by-case -case basis. Try to be as specific as possible regarding how your text should be built up. Inform the author how many paragraphs you would like, how many subheadings should be used, and if you require a teaser. Phrasing. Make it clear to your author what style you are looking for. You know best how you would like your audience to be addressed. Raised, colloquial, purely informative, or informal. Also, tell your author if they should stay objective or if they can provide their own opinions. Don't forget to determine how you would like the reader to be addressed. Is you allowed or should the reader not be addressed at all? You should establish the target audience for your content. Laymen are, in general, approached differently than experts. IT consultants differently than football fans. If the author is familiar with the target group, then the content can be composed accordingly. Here, again, the place of publishing is important to mention, such as a blog for dentists. Content. The core of your instructions is the description of the required content. Think about what the author should and should not mention. State what the objective is. Should it entertain, inspire, guide, inform, or motivate to buy? TextBroker offers you the possibility to optimize your content for search engines. You can use the SEO options to provide the author with your keyword requirements. The order title is the first impression of an order, so keep this in mind when choosing the wording. If you mention the article type and the topic in the title, then the author will immediately recognize what is required. Example, blog post, financing for cars. Aside from the instructions on content and phrasing, there are also some formal things that you as the client need to consider. Express yourself in your instructions as clearly and concisely as possible. Always consider that your author only has your instructions to work with. If something is unclear or not properly formulated, this can quickly lead to mistakes or unclear content. TextBroker will also take the instructions into account when dealing with rejections. The better and more precise the instructions are, the better the text will be. Try to get all your requirements into the instructions, but also remember to get to the point. If instructions are too long, there will be a higher mistake potential, so make them concise, clear, and well-structured. Don't forget, proofread your instructions and look out for anything that might have been left out. Have you used an appropriate title? Are the keywords correct and provided with the right context? Have all your requirements been formulated well? Are the structure, phrasing, content, and form of your instructions okay? If so, you can send off your order.